Hello, it's Jim Games here once again, and in this video we're going to start adding the sliding function to the game. So yeah, let's get started. First you want to go to the link in the description, it takes you to the my Google Drive. You want to download the running slide UE FBX animation file. After you have done that, you want to go to your project and to the blueprints and to the animations. And what we want to do first here before we import the animation, we want to actually check which skeleton we are using. So let's right click from here uh, some on some animation and let's click this find skeleton. Okay, and now let's actually rename this skeleton so we can remember it much easier. So call this endless endless mannequin skeleton, for example. Okay, and let's try that everything works. Yeah, the animations still work. So yeah, now we can continue. So let's go to the blueprints folder and to the animations again. Now let's import the animation that we downloaded. Let's move it to here. Let's select the skeleton. We have to select the endless mannequin skeleton. And let's check the import rotation and import translation are all zero. Let's import all. Okay, and let's see, let's open the animation. We can see it's working, but it's moving. So what we want to do here now, we want to actually enable root motion because this animation doesn't have root motion. So this way we can make it so it's stationary like this. Okay, after you have any enabled that, let's save and close now. We actually want to right click this, oh, right click this animation and we want to create, create anim montage, okay? And we can just leave it the name as it is as default when we create it. So running slide UE montage, okay? Let's go to the blueprints, the BB third person character. Now, first we want to actually create a new variable to here. It should be type boolean and let's call this Lighting slash rolling. Now we are on the event graph where we have this input action down at impulse thing here. Okay. So we're first checking if we are falling. If we are, we add the impulse. But if we are not falling, we want to call the slide counter rolling function. So let's create custom event. So let's find some empty space. Let's create a custom event. Let's call this custom event sliding slash rolling. Okay. Uh, sliding space slash space rolling. Okay, now we can create that. Okay, now from here, from the input action down function and after this branch, from the false, we want to call that function. So let's get from the false. And let's call that sliding less rolling like that. Okay. So now to the sliding rolling event, what we want to do here is we first want to actually add a branch. So B and left click. We want to check if we are not already sliding or rolling. So let's get the sliding rolling and not Boolean like this. And let's connect it to the condition. So if we are not sliding or rolling already, then we want to set the sliding rolling true. And after that, we want to get our character mesh. And we want to play montage from it. Okay. And now we want to search for a montage slide uh, running slide. Okay. And after that, from the on completed, we want to set the sliding rolling back to false. And uh, notice that we don't set it from here, we set it from on completed. Because if we set it from here, it will set it uh, after this starts to play. Now it will set it after this has completed, like that. So let's compile, save, and let's go to play and see what happens. So if we press down, 
you can see we are sliding. But one thing we still have here, if we add some objects that we can slide under, we still cannot, because I will show you, our capsule component, you don't have to do this, but if we set it visible on the game, now when we slide, you can see the capsule component doesn't like get smaller. And yeah, I first wanted to create it so uh, that we make this smaller when we slide and we like really go under the objects. But there is a problem if we get up from the slide right at the right moment when the uh, barrier is uh, like over us, it will sometimes glitch. So we will do this other way on the next episode. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. Yeah, hope you have a great day and see you on the next one.